Yes! I saw an interesting story on being misvalued on CBS This Morning several months ago. It was about how people can be overlooked by others for their real potential. Now when this happens, people can be derailed and marginalized. Many watching this video can easily point to times when we have been misvalued. What's harder is to quickly identify when we have been the one who misvalues someone else. This last thought presents two opportunities for us to consider. If we are the misvalued or the misvaluer, we have a job to do. First, if we have been misvalued by someone else, we cannot adopt their opinion as our own. Forgiveness includes allowing for the imperfection of others and knowing that the imperfection is very holistic and universal in humanity. It's a foregone conclusion that people are going to fail us. People we love, people we respect, people we admire, people we think would be the last to do so are all going to fail us and hurt us. Forgiveness means we accept that those people are just as imperfect as we are. Second, we have to confess to ourselves when we have misvalued others. We need to, of course, ask for forgiveness when we have derailed or marginalized someone. We need to be humble enough to um, allow ourselves to go beyond the apology to employing some kind of restoration if possible. Just realizing our wrong falls short when we have the ability to make amends. More importantly, we need to learn from when we have misvalued someone. Our imperfection is fairly permanent, but it can get better with time and effort. Something to consider, the words found in John 1.11, the true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came into his own, and his own people did not receive him. This, of course, is speaking of Jesus. When you are misvalued, undervalued, or disrespected, you must know that you are not alone. Jesus himself was placed on the pay no mind list by some of those around him as well. There are those who just saw Jesus as lowly because where he came from. There are those who saw Jesus as a crazy man with delusions of grandeur. Jesus was misvalued by those around him quite often. If the Son of God is misvalued, isn't it quite likely that we common humans will face being misvalued ourselves? It's all something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.